Hello everyone, welcome to Capture One in One Minute, where we explore one feature of Capture One to make your workflow better and easier. Today we're building another style. We are going to build a nighttime city style, something that's going to have a really cool and fun effect for downtown city scenes shot at night. So let's get into it. There are a couple of things we're going to want to address with a nighttime scene. Uh, the first one is that even if we attempt to get our white balance correct in camera, it tends to still not be truly accurate. And in this case, I shot in a shade white balance mode, but the color temperature still shifted. I'm gonna to want to adjust my exposure, of course. I'm going to want to take a look at a little bit of noise reduction in all likelihood, even though this was shot at a low ISO value, some exposure stuff, and I might want to take my saturation down a little bit and add some vignetting. I think that's just going to be a cool nighttime scene. So let's get into it. This particular situation is going to be really good for correcting nighttime color temperature because I have water that is supposed to be a neutral tone. So I actually have information to white balance off of. I'm going to grab my white balance color picker and I'm going to white balance off of it. And that's going to give me something pretty neutral. That feels good. Next, I'm going to bring up my brightness. Why brightness in this case? Because I have areas that are bright and I don't want those highlight areas to overexpose. So nighttime scenes sometimes will have lights on in windows of buildings or street lights, and I don't want to clip those highlights. Brightness is better than exposure for that job. Next, we're going to take a look at the histogram to be able to really control for this next portion. I want to take my highlights and pull them back a little bit just so I can start coming off of this wall. I might open up my shadows, but I'm going to drop my black point there. Very standard stuff, but I'm dropping the black point more than I normally do. And I do this to make sure I get some nice punchy blacks inside of the sky or the shadows in the city scene. That's feeling okay. I'm also going to take my saturation and I'm going to pull it back because because I want to have that desaturated look. So here's where we're at right now, and I'm already pretty happy. Next, we need to deal with some contrast, and curves, I think, is going to let me do this better than any other tool. Now, after doing this, I might have to move my highlights and shadows slider, but I think I want to have some nice poppy highlights, but I really want to bring in some blacks. So I'm going to really drop that underexposed area. And let's see how that looks. I'm pretty happy so far. It feels nice and interesting, but I have some information throughout the scene. Next, we're going to take a look at clarity. So we're going to take our clarity, and I think I just want to move this up a little bit. And with these types of nighttime, almost noir scenes, we can push contrast a little bit farther because we're not aiming for full realism here. If I was, then I would want to pull this back a little bit, but I think I can push that uh, a little bit farther and have some fun. But I think I might want to switch the style and go into a punch setting, and it's going to make some more crunchy blacks. That feels really good to me. Next, we're going to take a look at dehaze, and I do want to adjust my shadow tone manually. So I have the manual shadow tone picker, and that's easy. It's going to be the sky. So there we go. That's my shadow tone. And now I can dehaze from there. And that's going to allow me to make sure that as I add this contrast from dehaze, I don't crunch my blacks too much. Next, I want to take a look at my noise reduction. So I'm going to grab an area that's going to help be helpful for noise reduction. So I'm going to grab my magnifier here, click on the building, and then I'm going to zoom in on it to really see this area. And now I can take my luminance noise reduction and add this in. Now, one thing to point out, this was shot at ISO 100. And so let me do something for you here real fast. I'm actually going to increase my overall exposure so we can see this. When we have this longer exposure, we still can generate noise from the length of the exposure. And so I still wanted to reduce that a little bit, even though it is at ISO 100. So I'm going to bring in my luminance noise reduction. I'm going to try to bring back some detail and add back in sharpening. Remember, sharpening always happens after noise reduction. And that is because the amount of noise reduction you do affects the amount of sharpening that you need to employ. So sharpening happens after after noise reduction when you're doing this at home. I'm going to drop my focus tool back in. It served its purpose. And this is, of course, brighter than I really want it to be. So now I can pull that overall exposure back. It was just there so that I could control uh, what I saw with my focus tool. And then last thing is I'm going to take my vignetting and I'm going to 
darken that. And I think I've got a cool, interesting nighttime scene. So let's go ahead and apply it. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna come down to another nighttime scene. Let's go ahead and say this one here, and I'm going to apply it. And it creates a fun image. Now this is a very blurred shot, so that's not one that I would actually keep, but I like the effect, and it's something I can start with and work from there. As soon as I have everything uh, applied the way I want, so we are going to come back to our image. We're gonna save this as a style. Now remember, I added exposure before uh, in order to be able to see the focus tool, but I don't need to keep that in the style. I'm gonna come up to the top, I'm gonna to come to style, and I'm going to save a custom style. If I did not want this added exposure inside of the style, I could just remove it. Brightness, saturation, shadow, highlight, the dehaze, the curve, the white balance, all of these things I'm going to keep and I'm going to save. And this is going to be Cool Nighttime City. And I'm going to save that. Now this had a white balance adjustment to it that I was able to do due to the water. So uh, one thing I wanna point out is that if you wanted to get your hands on this exact style for free, I'm putting it over at my website, thefstopshere.org. This one is totally free. There's other styles that you can buy if you choose to that are cheap and easy ways of just adding some functionality to your Capture One. That's what I've got for you today. Thanks a lot, I'll see you next time.